Welcome to Bajua. We are on the island of Flores in Indonesia about to visit the Goji waterfall and the area to get to Goji the waterfall is beautiful. So you've got all these uh, hot peppers growing uh, behind are all the rice fields and just different vegetables. I see a cow and a nice lady. We've got the big volcano in the background there, but it's just like a little walk up. I don't think it's very far. I mean, it looks paved. There's Kelly and the kids. Let's see. It looks like there's some kind of a fee or maybe they call it donation. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Uh, how much is it? 20? Yeah, so okay. you get 50, I think it's fair. Okay. You want to pull some more? I pay my more cards. Sure. Yeah. Then you said 50 for everybody? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So 10, huh? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Terimakashi. <laughs> Terimakashi. Terimakashi. All right, so 50,000. That's uh, about $3.50, I think. And we can enjoy it. I don't see any other cars in the parking lot. That's the one we came in with, Cipri, our driver. And it looks great. Okay. Of course, the icebreaker. All right, so as you walk up, you're going to see all types of, like, again, the garden space. And we've got the papayas just growing there's some kind of a uh, water uh, drainage there yeah yeah really pretty we've got uh, oh there's a pig <laughs> somebody's farm pigs and chickens and little roosters so this waterfall when we do get there again the trail sort of switched now to this gravel but apparently you're not allowed to swim in it so uh, we'll go and check that out for ourselves no one brought bathing suits just because that's what we read online, but uh, it does look like from what I saw on the internet that the water does pool, so maybe we can get in a little bit. We'll find out. Again, the walk, you couldn't ask for something more pleasant. You got the rolling hills, blue skies, and screaming baby, and everyone working on the farm, bunch of cows. <laughs> and like I said, the screaming baby. Right, lots of uh, green vegetable. I think that's lettuce, maybe. La Buon Bajo Flores, Tourism Authority. So maybe this is uh, some kind of village up here, but I don't see anything like that yet. Rice, all types of rice fields. Even before COVID, uh, this was never a super touristy attraction kind of from what i read online so we'll see again i do think we're going to have the whole place to ourselves. so growing just off the trail are these banyan trees and i just love the way those roots always look just pretty great and then this one is a another fruit tree what kind of fruit did you what did you call this candle trees candle tree yeah. Candle nut. This is like a macadamia. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit oh, like macadamia. Oh. The fruit. Okay. So they will uh, fall down when it's ready to fall down. Okay. So the owner just come to picking from the ground. Oh, okay. So they'll harvest. Yeah. Then and then do they... Uh, they drying. Dry them, yep. That is it to them to uh, break the seals to get the nuts. Okay. The and just for nuts. snack. Yeah. Or no, cooking. No, that's, that's for cooking normally. Oh, cooking. Yeah? I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. If you ah, make a car, you better okay. put like this one as well. Okay, so, so there's yeah. the fruit. Yeah. And uh, so popular in the curries. Yeah, yeah. I think I can hear the waterfall, so I think we're getting yeah, close. This this corner there. Uh, I just around the corner. So we're getting ever closer to the waterfall, and we keep stopping because we are finding cool things to see. So right here, of course, you might know what this is. Yeah, here's all the cacao. Cacao? Oh, <laughs> So here's all the cacao pods. So this, of course, is going to be chocolate. So this is sort of a fruit and nut and bean safari. You can see, whoa, some rocks. But here's where they've uh, chopped them open. Ugh. Oh, lots of little bugs. But that's where they chop them open to take the, what will eventually become sweet chocolate or bitter chocolate. Just, it is great and it's growing. These are all chocolate plants. Very cool. And Granite, are you like king of the tribe? Yep. Nice. <laughs> lots, of, lots of little things to play with along the way.
but this is a really mellow trail. It's it's nice. Uh, it's so different from Bali, where again you're always uh, typically with crowds of people, and this got the whole place to ourselves. We're definitely getting closer to the waterfall now. I can hear it. All right. Well, I keep thinking the next stop is the waterfall, but here we are with more uh, exciting things, at least for me to see. And here, of course, is coffee. So on this very trail, we're talking papaya, all types of like farm produce, the chocolate, the um, the nuts. This is just yeah, uh, certainly a little wonderland of produce and growing uh, regions. Very nice. And up here, somebody's farm. Let's take a look here. Obviously, they've got the concrete house. There's so many different styles of house. You've got bamboo houses, these concrete houses. Uh, we've seen just a variety of building materials. But this must be some kind of lettuce. Lettuce? Yeah. Got the laundry drying back there. And all of this water flow, let's see if we get a better shot, this kind of a canal water system that feeds all the way down. It's all coming from the waterfall. Okay, so we're definitely coming around the corner to the waterfall. You can see where it all just runs through and eventually is channeled into that farm system. But this walkway, um, it looks really nice, but you can see where it just hasn't really been maintained. And that's probably due just to a lack of uh, visitors right now with the pandemic. I mean, I should actually, I'll try to find out if we were the first ones here today, um, but we'll, we'll see. All right, here's uh, somebody's house. Oh, the little puppies. Hi, Eva. Hi, puppies. Hi, you funny? You funny little puppy? Okay, okay. You no, won't bother the babies. Okay, guy. And here's the waterfall. Beautiful. All right, little buddy. Hopefully it won't follow us the whole way. No. Not exactly for us. Very pretty no. area. <laughs> Well, somebody certainly spent some money developing this whole area. It's, I mean, this is all laid out path. We've got a gate system. We've got some uh, canopies over here. Well, certainly somebody added a, almost like a, not like a dam, right? Like a little dam system where the water channels down. And then of course, here we go, right to all the farms. Oh, forest, dropping cars. Yeah, so somebody, this has certainly been developed, for sure. Gorgeous. Very tall. So you can sit here, enjoy the waterfall. You've got three of these nice little shade cover Bungalows, I mean, they are a little bit worn, aren't they? Let's check out the last one. Uh, it's certainly a waterfall, very nice. So the whole area, it's just a little grown over, isn't it? Got some... Oh man, now I'm kind of from this thing, I'm really feeling that wind moisture in the air. All right. So the way they have this uh, fenced off, yeah, they're certainly not going into that water. This has certainly all been built up to support those farms down there. You've got a little bit of a dam flow. 
controlling the waterway. And this is must be what drives the farms. I mean, it's the way the green moss is growing is beautiful. All right, so I also learned about this dam is that it supports hydroelectricity, which is why they have that wall there. Apparently it goes sort of down this channel and there's some pipes or pumps that drive electricity and some of that electricity helps feed the grid over in uh, Bajo. So very cool. Little uh, hydro electricity action. Let's see if we can't get a closer look at some of the, those uh, machinery. Maybe this building here. Let's see if we can't get to it. All right, so just looking ahead, so it looks like they've got this um, sort of a no entry situation here at the pump site. Oh, maybe. It must be like kind of the pump room back here as the water goes down. It must be something over here that's like catching water. Yeah, Ibu's not here. I'd ask her if I can go out there. But apparently this is all government property, so I don't want to like go invading on that. I hope you enjoyed Ogi Waterfall. We had a nice walk back and then there's a bunch of like uh, kids eating papaya. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and it was nice. It, I mean, it was a great walk it, to pass uh, the farmlands and to see sort of all the different fruit trees and everything that goes along that way. It's a nice spot. I mean, again, you can't get on the water. It's all gated off and they're using that uh, waterfall I learned for sort of hydroelectricity. So it's kind of, you know, fenced off, but it's still nice to see. It's a big waterfall and we enjoyed it. And then you're gonna definitely, when you come out here, you'll see uh, all types of people farming and you'll see the animals and the fruit trees. So it's totally worth it. I think if you're in the area to come check out the waterfall. All right, we'll see you in the next one.